And you, so who are you and what do you do? My name is George de Goye. I'm uh, working as an advisor to, uh, to many, uh, many projects and programs um, on water in, um, in Africa, mainly, a little bit in, uh, in Europe, in the Balkans. And uh, it's often about uh, developing capacity and about changing institutions. Yeah. And, and you were telling me an interesting example of development aid that doesn't help. Could you expand a little bit on that? Well, what, what we were discussing is, is that, this is my analysis, uh, that because of the very strict rules on, uh, on accountability of projects uh, in development cooperation, there is a, uh, a tendency to avoid taking risks and uh, as a result uh, if you have to for instance uh, have a training uh, organized in the framework of your uh, of your project um, you will um, use uh, rather use consultants for doing your training than for instance uh, a university or uh, a more uh, a more formalized training institute in the country and probably you're right in the short run because if you want to have a quick result then uh, if you have a contract with uh, with, a, with a firm to provide you with a training then you can refer to the terms of reference and you uh, you're sure about the result and you can show that then in your in your uh, logical framework based uh, um, output report but in the long run, in the long run, it, you don't create any uh, any uh, any capacity uh, in the institutions that were, after all, created to do training uh, in the country. And I see a, sim a similar thing happening in, uh, in 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 studies, where the studies are done by uh, by experts uh, from outside or by, by experts together with again consultants and not by research institutes in the country and there's so many inter interesting studies being done and by involving those institutes by involving students also uh, in these activities you could do so much uh, so much more on, on capacity development so what i would, would would argue for is to is to include in any activity that you do when it comes to studies that you make it at least possible to have students involved in those uh, in those activities so that they can uh, learn from whoever is uh, is brought in for doing that study and that for any any training that is part of your, uh, of your project that you try to uh, use the uh, existing uh, uh, institutional capacity or at least involve them in these training activities so that Step by step, you develop this local training capacity, which is much more sustainable, in my opinion, than continuing to buy uh, outside uh, training uh, from uh, consultants. And I'm a consultant myself, so I just think it's much better to, to work in a, in a more sustainable model. And uh, I think building capacity is part of that model. That's really excellent. So, could you tell us your name again? <coughs> My Who name is work with? George de Goyer, and I work, among others, with SIDA, uh, that's uh, the Swedish Civil Development Corporation. I work with NAFIC, that is the Netherlands uh, University uh, uh, Corporation. I work with the uh, World Water Assessment Program, that is uh, the UN uh, program. I think those are the main clients at this moment. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.